In example three, we have a projectile launched vertically upward from ground level with an initial velocity of 114 feet per second. They want me to find the velocity and speed at time t equals three and t equals five seconds, respectively. And so we can use the standard position function, s of t is equal to one half times g, the acceleration due to gravity times t squared plus v naught, the initial velocity times t plus s naught. And um, this results in a function s of t equals uh, one half times negative 32 feet per second gives us negative 16 uh, feet, I'm sorry, feet per second squared times t squared plus the initial velocity of 114 feet per second times t. And since it was launched from the ground, that means that s naught was equal to zero. Now they ask us to find the velocity and speed at t equals three and t equals five seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down that the velocity is equal to s prime of t. And you're going to want to write that down for any problem that you work like this, especially on the AP exam, because it may not be apparent to the, the reader that uh, you know that the velocity is the first derivative. And so you want to you want to make that explicit. And it's hard to read my writing. So I'm going to erase that and try it one more time. S prime of t. So what we can do is take this derivative. And so we have 2 times negative 16 is equal to negative 32 times t, applying the power rule, plus 114. And so now we can find v of 3. And that's going to be negative 32 times 3 plus 114. And this works out to be 18 feet per second. V of 5 is negative 32 times 5 plus 114. And that will be equal to negative 46 feet per second. In part B, we're asked how high will the projectile rise? And so what's happening is uh, it will reach the apex of its ascent when the velocity, the vertical component of its velocity, is equal to zero. And so what we will do is find out when s prime of t is equal to zero. So looking back at our previous work, s prime of t was negative 32t plus 114. So uh, negative 32t plus 114 is equal to zero. And so that means that 32t is equal to 114. And so um, t is equal to 114 over 32. I wouldn't even bother simplifying this because all we're going to do is now plug that into the position equation, 114 divided by 32, and let your calculator uh, do that for you. So we end up with Substituting into this formula, negative 16 times 114 over 32 squared plus 114 times 114 over 32, approximately 203.0625 feet. In part C, we're asked to find the speed of the projectile when it hits the ground. So when it hits the ground, that means that our s of t function will have a value of 0. So we have negative 16t squared plus 114t equals 0. And factoring this, we have negative 2t times quantity 
eight t minus fifty seven equals zero and setting each factor equal to zero negative two t equals zero or eight t minus fifty seven equals zero we have t equals zero and of course that is the starting time it's launched from the ground so this is the one that we're interested in after it has already traveled when it hits the ground again and we'll get that by taking 8t and setting that equal to 57 and so t is equal to 57 divided by 8. Now the speed is the absolute value of the velocity at time t equals 57 over 8. Substitute that into your calculator and make the answer positive and we get approximately 114 feet per second, which was the same as its initial velocity.